In energy overcame Jethro, his toad slowly lowered him to the pit. When he reached the church-sized cavernous bottom where moist, cool air flowed, he clenched his pick and started to dig. He didn't know when or if he was going to stop, but the fine stones delighted him. Some of the pieces hit his square face, protected by his eyebrow and blonde beard. Seeing the earth open up brought fire to his soul. He chipped through a thin layer of calcite. He was about to order a toad to send down the jackhammer when the carbide lamp hissed. <laughs> Jether laughed like a child upon finding buried treasure. His laughter floated through the air like a feather, ready to tickle even death. He knelt down and swept away the dirt with his hand, exposing a piece of something embedded in the limestone. Spitting on it, he used his finger to polish the unknown. As he chipped away the purple stone from one and more emerged, even though he was exhausted, the more he dug, the more he wanted to open up the earth. Outside, 